That's it. Let's go. We're in Arizona, guys. Greg grabbed his Arizona hunting rags book for free right in there in the sportsman's warehouse. Swag. Yep. So we've got some light reading to do on our hour drive from Tucson to go meet up with Randy and the guys at camp. If I look tired, it's because I am very tired. We've been at the ATA show for the last couple days, and we haven't got much sleep. We don't have any idea what we're doing, by the way. These coos deer like, look like jackrabbits compared to the deer that we're used to hunting up in Iowa. And Mike says uh, like they're super, super tough to get close to. It's gonna be interesting. I'd say we're probably gonna get our butts kicked, but we're used to that, so it should be fun. Reached our destination here in the desert. I don't see Randy's truck though. That's them right there. They're getting all ready to go. <laughs> Howdy. What's shaking? Hey Greg. Look at you. No kidding. Mexico's like right there. Yeah. Could have fooled me with all the border patrol around. They're thick. Nice to meet you, Randy. My pleasure. I'm Aaron. This is Greg. Yeah. Greg, how you doing? Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. We're ready to be here, man. We yeah. just we just came from Louisville at ATA, and it was snowing and cold. And back home, we got 17, 18 inches of snow. Wow! So. I don't think you worry about that here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Grab whatever they want for a room. We we did the math over the course of now and when we're gone through this week. There's going to be 18 different people here. <laughs> There's deer and stuff all over. Like, I yeah. Here. I wish I could so, tell you. I'll go here or go there. It's just freaking everywhere. Wherever. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so much different than what we're used to back home. You know, you got 2,500 acres of public land, and then for four counties, you don't have anything. Right. You know, but private. Down here, it's just, it's everywhere. It's about five oh, oh, wait, wait a minute here it's about 10 to 5 i still got pretty bad jet lag or something my brain's not working right yet greg and i are going to run out for a spell before it gets dark we got about an hour and 15 minutes or so of light so just going to get familiar with the territory a little bit see which roads we can drive down and try to find some high spots this evening that we can potentially get to in glass at first light tomorrow morning this is really really big country as you can probably already tell and there's a lot of public land. I mean, it's basically all public land all the way around us. So if we see a deer, we should be able to go after it. I'm marking a couple of high points. I can see in there past this gate. There's a big ridge right here. In the morning, if we go up to the top of that ridge and get on one of these peaks that I'm marking, it should allow us good vantage with that sun at our back all morning for glassing. So, don't know much about the whole glassing game, but that's what everybody tells us is how you find the bucks out here. So, the deer are rutting right now, so they're pretty active most of the day. That's a good option to at least start at in the morning. Come on in, make yourselves at home. <laughs> really? Well, thank you so much, girl. Huh? You doing some work? I'm scouting for deer. Have a nice season. 200 videos. Yeah. Hula! There they are. Over here. How are you doing, buddy? Did you stick one already? Nice to see you. Jay W. Pritchard. How are you? How are you? Great. Nice I don't to see you. I believe I met you, Jay Pritchard. Jay, nice to meet Jay. you, Brian. Marcus, how you doing, bud? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good luck. Good. Thanks. Good. 18. Yeah. Aaron? Brian? How are you? Good, man. Good. Good. Oh, long drive. Good, Good morning, friends. We're headed out for our first morning down here in Arizona. So, we got a bunch of guys in camp with tags. Surely somebody's going to shoot a coos deer. They've been hunting down here for, what'd they say, Greg, like three, four years or something? And they haven't killed one yet. They said they brought in the whitetail guys, meaning us, for reinforcements. And me and Greg don't have any idea what the heck we're doing. We are excited about the jackrabbits, though. We are excited about the jackrabbits. That's a good point. These jackrabbits down here are huge. 
if we can't find coos deer, we might just go on a jackrabbit safari through the desert. Plan though is to get up on a high knob this morning and try to do some glassing and find one. They're rutting down here, so movement should be good. It's just being able to see the little buggers and all these brush. Let's go. I don't want that big rock right there. Me and Greg don't have our mountain legs yet. I can tell you that. Top of this knob here is supposed to be 5,000 feet. We ought to be able to see quite a bit from up there, but it might be tomorrow by the time we get there. There's one. It's almost 10 in the morning and Greg and I have spotted several deer. It took us forever to get up here, as y'all could tell, we were running extremely late. But once we finally got up here to the top of this peak and started glassing, we started picking up a few deer. We haven't been able to film any of them because I keep seeing them and then they'll move behind a rock or a ridge or something. But I saw a doe or a little buck over here to the south, about three ridges over, seven eight hundred yards away and then I moved around the side of this rock and I've been glassing down in here and I saw a really big buck a few minutes ago he was on top of one of those little knobs down there for a couple of minutes and then he'd run some does off to the side and I marked them all down there by this tank and I'm sure Greg can probably see it through the spotter there's a little drainage right there it looks like there's quite a bit of cover in it and that's where that buck ran those does down and into it's a big buck too Marcus killed a real nice one in this general area in December and this buck looked a lot like that one so but we've just been sitting here for the last 30 minutes trying to glass them back up and we have not seen them they're down there in that little drainage and they're actually real close to the road I got it marked on Onyx though where they're at it says they're about 1.2 miles from here I don't think I want to walk from this mountain to get over there but as you can see the road is real close to them down there so if we back out and then drive around we can probably get pretty close to their location It's no big deal, just a few thousand feet down there. Talking to Jim last night when we got into camp, uh, he's the Arizona Game and Fish Wildlife Science Coordinator, and uh, he was telling us about where these deer tend to bed. Of course, we're very intrigued because we deal with buck bedding all the time with you know, whitetails out east and in the Midwest. But one of the things he said was that they, they like this oak woodland stuff and they'll tend to bed on the upper third of these big ridges up against these trees. And on the way up here, Greg found a bunch of beds around this little tree. There's even a rub in it right here. And there's beds all up around this thing where they can stand up and look down below them. Now we're gonna head down to the truck and. See if we can't relocate that buck I saw a while ago. about noon right now and Greg and I just ate a little bit while we were sitting here eating we parked on a high spot kind of down here where I saw that buck earlier and as I'm sitting here eating Greg looks out the window with his binos and spots a doe right across the draw from us she's bedded down now and haven't seen a buck yet but it's encouraging we're seeing deer and we're starting to kind of figure out where they like to be they want to be in these little on these side hills where there's some thick oak brush is a little bit steeper country and you're getting into more of that oak woodland. 
and that's right where they are is on the side hills in the uh, thicker oaks so we're gonna keep cruising around and see if we can spot a few more we're still a mile away from where I saw that buck though so we're just gonna ease our way down that direction and then this evening we'll try to get up high and overlook that tank area where he was headed there's our water tank right there that buck was right up here about another quarter mile or so up on top here to the south of us in your view, but she's standing in the wide open now. Dropping down into the valley, you see him? Yep. We gotta go. He's coming right down the hill right there. He's gonna be just out of sight in a minute. We got a buck spotted from the truck, as you can see. As we were eating lunch a while ago, Greg saw that doe over here on this opposite face. We just spotted a few more does, looked up, there's a buck coming off the hill. So we got drop down here, circle around him. You know what might be a better idea? Just to get in the stupid truck and drive around below and then go right up that drainage. Right away. They're obviously not bothered by the truck. There's border patrol everywhere. But before we do, I'm going to mark this on an onyx way. I knew better than to take that last step on the top of this thing. I was starting to think though, you know, they were, last time we saw them, they were just right on that side of this ridge. And I'm thinking, you know, they're probably not gonna be there very long, which is my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better that they weren't gonna go very far. But I took the risk and hoping that they were on this side instead of this side. And as soon as I crested the ridge, they were right here, 100 yards. Both of them. Small bucks, but who cares? <laughs> Love to at least gotten a position on them. That was a tough one, though, because I last place I marked them was on the back side of this ridge over there. And they had obviously, while we were moving the truck around, hopped over and got over here somehow. I want to get up top though. Is that where he walked over the top right there is right where I was wanting the glass. Like if we'd have went there in the first place, he'd have walked right over us. Y'all can see how this lays down through there. Just these little hoops 
and run down for the next mile down this ridge line. And on either side are these little secondary ridges that run out, and that's where we've been seeing all these deer bedded. I don't know how far we're going to go down tonight, but probably try to make that next hill at least and glass into that next little valley below it. That's right where I saw that big buck this morning. Easy. Got him. Mm -hmm. Wait till he goes out of sight. Right. We're just cruising along this top, and Greg looked down and spotted a real nice buck. A few hundred yards below us, going back this way. The problem is our wind is going like this, so. I'm going to have to try to get over there and cut him off. I'm going to go around the back side of this. That was pretty tense. That buck was like 200 yards, and I don't know if he caught movement up here or if he smelled a whiff of us because the wind is really bad right now. But he stood there at that cactus for like 15 minutes staring up here. Big buck, too. And he went on the backside of that hill. We got a car coming to the bottom right now, so. Me and Greg are going to try to cup around him, get the wind in our favor, and get down low where he's cruising at. That's Randy. I think. I'm afraid when I go to draw back, I'm just going to slide down the hill. We tried to flank around that buck in last ditch effort, essentially. <laughs> Never did see him. It's going to be tough sledding trying to get a coos deer this week with a bow and arrow. When you think about it, these things got a lot more predators than the whitetails that we're dealing with back home do. Got mountain lions down here. Makes them extra cautious. But on the good side, we are seeing bucks. A lot of fun. After all this running around, we got a long walk back to the truck, so Greg and I are going to start heading that way. Get back to camp and see what uh, everybody else got into today. If 
Okay, then boys, don't keep it low. Hey there. Hey. How are Good we doing, you. man? Good. Good to see you. What's Good. going on, man? Casey. Aaron, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, finally, Logan. man. Logan, so, I haven't seen you for so day. long. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, not valid. Was it yesterday or the day before? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 no. Yeah. Little adjustments. Good spot, though, Marcus. Yeah? Yeah. How would you guys go to that? The waypoints or? Uh, close by anyway. Nice. We went to that drainage and then I looked up and I was like, well, there's a pretty good peak there. And uh, about two and a half hours later, we were <laughs> John, goose chili, phenomenal. I bring it in.